You may have noticed lately that CBCS seems to be making up ground. Where no one seemed to want to have a CBCS slab just a few years ago, they're starting to become just as ubiquitous as CGC. But there is one major problem with CBCS that might keep you from using them to grade your books. I have sent in a ton of orders to CBCS in the past couple of years. I tried them out and I really liked the product. There's just one issue that I keep bumping up against again and again, and it's gotten to the point where they seriously need to fix it. CGC has done nothing but tarnish its own image over and over recently. And I talked about that in a recent video and why I think they may be positioning themselves as the second choice. Check it out, the link is below. So CBCS should be taking this opportunity to close the gap and really become the first choice in grading. You know, that tagline they keep touting, the clear choice. But as I said over and over again, I run into the same problem that really makes me question if they want to be your first choice or not. Now I know they recently raised prices and that got a lot of people pissy and they see that as a reason not to choose CBCS. I disagree, the price hike is on Express tier and it's just a bad play in my opinion. Just leave it alone and take all the business you can. The pricing of CBCS has been competitive up to this point and usually best CGC. The price increase is a shot in the foot, but shouldn't dissuade you from CBCS. It's the quality then, right? No, not at all. I actually think CBCS is more consistent at applying their grading criteria. Slabs? Nope. They're nice and sturdy. CBCS's problem is their customer service. Are you listening, CBCS? Your customer service is total dog shit. To be fair, the agents that you can actually talk to seem to be nice. They're always friendly and appear eager to help. It's just that the eagerness doesn't often turn into forward momentum. I've had two actual problems with CBCS orders and I'll go into the details on them. And in those instances, I was as patient as possible, but eventually it just becomes too much and you just need to rage out. Other times, I'm just looking for some simple communication. I've had one major delay and it wasn't CBCS's fault. I sent books for a signing with the Three Jokers creative team and John's kept pushing the signing date. This is all probably COVID related, but nonetheless annoying. CBCS's fault in this though isn't the delay, but the fact I emailed them numerous times for updates and would get nothing back. I ended up on their Facebook group, which was more enlightening, but that shouldn't be up to me to track it down. This seems to be the standard course for their customer service. No replies. Ever. Don't expect one. Why should you, as a paying customer, maybe a loyal customer, have any expectations of a response? So, let me highlight the two instances where I had to deal with the customer service on actual issues which needed to be resolved to make my case. So when I did my comparison of the three grading companies, if you haven't seen the videos, I'll link the playlist below, you should watch them. My CBCS order came back with a major annoyance. Not really damage to my slabs like I had with CGC, but there were some minor imperfections that uh, I knew were there. It took a bit of emailing around back and forth, all of that's laid out in my customer service comparison video, but they eventually agreed to reslab the books at no cost to me. However, this is a big one. When I got the books back, I was missing my firepower number one. I sent in four books and got three books back. This is where the real trouble starts because their customer service was truly horrible. I had one person that was eventually helpful, but otherwise it was atrocious. They couldn't even tell a book had been lost because whoever did the logging only logged three of my books into their system. So my firepower book just sat somewhere on a table or in a bin. This honestly took months to resolve. A few months to get any kind of helpful reply, then some more time to track down the book. It was a total shit show. Losing a book is a big deal. Losing a book you've already graded that you're re-slabbing is bad. Luckily, it already had the barcode and the QR code on the case, so once it was tracked down, it was pretty easy to confirm that it was my book. So that one is annoying and frustrating, but it ended happily. I got my book back with a fresh case, and they gave me credit towards my next submission for the trouble. But this next one is an unresolved doozy. Another lost book, this time they told me about it. I sent in some books for the Tinian team signing, one day I got this email acknowledging that my books had been mishandled and one of them didn't get signed. Oops. However, I thought this was fine because they are the ones who informed me. I was also told that all the shipping costs would of course be covered and they would have it signed soon. 
which they did. However, in the meantime, they sent me back the one book which was signed. This one. Nice House, number one, cover A, signed by Tinian. One of my favorite books of the last year, part of my PC. I sent in a minty book fresh from my comic store that I also pressed before sending. This is the grade. This is why. A crushed corner. This wasn't crushed when I sent it. I'll refer back to the email notifying me that they had mishandled my books. I've emailed and even chatted with someone on IG who has three times now told me they'll have it resolved by tomorrow. Yet, here we are with no resolution. To be clear, this isn't a grading problem or a case problem. This is 100% a customer service problem. And CBCS needs to fix this if they really want to make a push to be everyone's top choice. You can't drop the ball this hard as often as you do with no regard or compensation for your waiting clients. I'm still waiting. It's very clear to me that their various departments don't communicate to each other. Or if they do, people within the company at the customer service level don't care to follow through with their promise or work. This is it for them. CBCS, the reason you still aren't the number one choice of collectors is your absolutely horrid customer service.